Let's talk about the, the, the history between deaf and blind education. It all started with a woman by the name of Laura Bridgman. Laura was born in New Hampshire, and her father was a Baptist preacher. When Laura was born, she was sick. Her body was weak, and her bones were very brittle. Because of this sickness, her family got sick, and she became deaf and blind. The only senses that Laura could depend on were her taste and her smell. But as she got older, she did get healthy, and she regained her sight, but remained deaf. As she got older, her family worried about what they would do for her education until somebody came up and mentioned to them that there was a school in Boston for deaf and blind children. So they agreed to send her to this school and Dr. Samuel Gridley Howe was impressed by the intelligence of Laura and decided she could go to the school because she could set a table properly. She sewed like an expert and they and off they took her to this school. Of course Lauren did get homes Laura did get homesick homesick and would wanted to return home but she would she soon learned that learning was a wonderful thing and she wanted to stay. She would cut out letters to be able to feel feel how things were spelled or where things were. She learned how to sign her name. A famous English author by the name of Charles Dickens came to visit Laura one time. He was so impressed by how she knew how to, how she learned and he was so impressed by Laura that he eventually wrote a, an article about her. And on Saturdays, the school would be open to the public Saturdays school would be open to the public and people by the thousands would come and visit Laura because she became so famous from this letter. People would become so impressed that they would ask Laura to point out certain spots on the map by feeling the popped out letters. People would ask Laura to make handcrafted keepsakes for them to take home. And after Laura had finished her finished her schooling, the the other she had to decide what she wanted to do, and she wanted to stay at Perkins. But of course, Laura did go back home for a brief brief time to visit her family, and she enjoyed. But she decided she wanted to go back to school. So, how she supported herself was by knitting and sewing and making handcrafted handkerchiefs and would make $100 a year to, to support herself. Perkins Institute for the Deaf had built new little cottages on campus. Laura eventually moved into one of them by herself. And Anne Sullivan had eventually moved in with her at a point who had become famous as a deaf blind teacher. At the age of 59, unfortunately, Laura had become sick and her health had started to deteriorate quickly. And that is how, that is the history behind how the deaf, deaf blind education started all about. And we can say thank you to Laura Bridgman.